Hi, I'm Tom from Carpus Engineering. We're a small machine shop located in Hertfordshire and I am also the inventor of Legacy Connect. Legacy Connect is a plug and play USB networking drive that allows you to post a complex cam to older CNC machines via the USB port. Legacy Connect sets up in three simple steps. One, connect your Legacy Connect to the local Wi-Fi network. Two, on your computer, map the network drive. And three, plug your Legacy Connect into your machine and start transferring files. So Legacy Connect was uh, developed and evolved from us trying to network our old machine. We spent many, many hours um, stripping down Linux and installing it on here. We've made a user-friendly interface to set it up. And we've also stripped down the, soft, the, the operating system inside Legacy Connect so it can just run off of the USB port on your machine. Legacy Connect will work with any CNC machine that has a USB drive as it simply just plugs in and works. Tested it with a few machines, uh, not just Hass, but it works with Siemens, Herco, um, you know, all kinds of USB enabled CNC machines. It supports G code and any other NC type program. Um, it's secure and it sits on your network. So, Legacy Connect is, once you've set it up on your computer, it's just as simple as plugging it in to your machine via the USB port, like so. If you wait about 30 seconds uh, for the operating system inside Legacy Connect to boot, you will all of a sudden see your USB drive. Trying. And now Legacy Connect is now available. Legacy Connect and all your files. Once you have connected your Legacy Connect to the Wi-Fi network and you've mapped your drive, you should see your map drive on my computer here. And if you drop any folders within Legacy files within Legacy Connect, they will appear on your device at the machine. So if I want to post a particular bit of toolpath, I just click post process and set the output folder to your legacy connect, which I've done here, and click post 1001, hit post. And by the time I've walked over to the machine, it would have done a software disconnect and reconnect. So now we're over at the machine, we can simply uh, go into the folder of the USB drive, like so, and as simple as that, all our files are on the USB port. But what always best is to copy your programs from the USB port to the memory to run them. So I'm just going to recall that from memory and save it on the memory, and now I can run that program. Little notes about Legacy Connect. Legacy Connect is drawing power from the USB port. So if your USB port doesn't have enough power to support it, um, it can cause uh, power fluctuations on the device and uh, corrupt the operating system. So we recommend powering Legacy Connect up uh, continuously from an external power supply and then just running your USB port in like that. At the moment, Legacy Connect only supports transmitting files to the device. Um, it's quite a complex to try and get two-way functioning on a USB port. It's not that simple. So currently, you can only transmit to the Legacy Connect from the mapped drive. Best practice for using Legacy Connect are transmit your file to Legacy Connect and then copy it out of the USB drive onto the memory of your machine. Some people like to drip feed it out, but that can be a bit of a um, problem if someone else has transferred a file to Legacy Connect while you're drip feeding, it will do a disconnect. So it's just not a good idea to do that. It's always best practice to, whether you've got a Legacy Connect or a USB drive, transfer your file to memory. 
Thank you for watching our videos on Legacy Connect. Uh, we hope Legacy Connect can maybe bring one of your older machines you know, up to date or maybe improve some of your workflows. Um, we feel that we feel really excited about it and the users that do have it at the moment are really happy about it. It's nice and reliable and better than some other solutions out there. If you've got any questions or you want more information or you just want to talk, just contact us on our website. And thank you for watching.